<gasps> Welcome back. <laughs> oh, Master, I wonder what kind of dream we'll have tonight. Well, let's go together. Seek you. You have been within the woods for quite some time, unsure of how long you've been traveling. But one thing you do know for sure is you are very hungry. You think for a moment how long it would possibly take you to get to the next town to eat, but then you realize that it's rather dark to be going to a town by yourself, <sighs> let alone finding something to eat out here. But then, you smell something in the air. Sniffing, sniffing, you realize it's something tasty. It's, it's food. Even in the distance, you see light. Perhaps a kind group of people would share their meal with you. Oh, you sure hope so. And so, you walk a bit quicker and quicker and quicker. When you approach the campfire, you find yourself by a small riverbank. You spy some fish cooking out on the fire. However, you also see two people by the river, still fishing. Upon closer inspection, you realize it is a young man and a woman. The young woman seems to be fishing with her hands while the young man is using a makeshift fishing rod. But suddenly, a twig snaps under your feet, and the two of them turn to you once they hear you, and thus you begin to explain yourself rather quickly. <coughs> oh, you're just traveling, aren't you? Well, if you are hungry, I think we have enough fish to share, don't we, Nezuko? The young woman, Nezuko, pulls out a large fish from the riverbank with her own hands. The young man pets Nezuko's head as you begin to approach the two of them. It's a pleasure to meet you. We don't often meet such kind people so quickly. My name is Tanjiro Kamado, and uh, this is my little sister, Nezuko. Say hello, Nezuko. Nezuko raises a hand to wave, looking to her older brother, and then pointing at you. Uh, don't worry, they'll be spending the night with us, so let's go eat, okay? You all take a moment to eat the cooked fish. Oh, you're rather happy to finally have a full belly, yet you just can't seem to take your eyes off of Tanjiro. He seems so kind and caring for his younger sister. Seems as though he's a very gentle person. Yet, you worry of why he holds a sword in his hand. In any case, Tanjiro seems to be having difficulty with Nezuko, trying to pull away some fish bones out of her mouth. Nah, you, you're not supposed to eat the bones, Nezuko. You, you're gonna choke. <laughs> he finally pulls the bones away from his sister's mouth. And just for a glimpse, you see her fangs. You immediately realize that she's a demon. Yet... He's protecting her. She bites down on some small piece of bamboo that she had been biting on prior. 
Tanjiro elephant had fallen over after pulling the fish bones away from his sister's mouth. And so you approach Tanjiro, offering to help him up. He takes your hand. It's warm. And just as gentle as he is naturally. You blush, but quickly turn away. Thank you. Sometimes she's very difficult about eating. <laughs> you ask about his sword, and why Nezuko has to bite down on that. Ah, uh, well, it is a bit of a long story, but essentially, I want to save my little sister and make her, um, okay again. She's... she's... all I have now. I don't know what I would do if I lost her. But it's alright. We've... we've got each other. Nezuko nods. And that's out a soft yawn. Hmm? Huh? Oh, you're tired. Well, it is pretty late. I'll keep the first watch, so... Why don't you go head to bed now, Nezuko? Nezuko nods, standing up and walking towards a large box. She then opens the lid, steps in it, and closes it. You're pretty concerned with watching that, but Tanjiro begins explaining. Um, don't worry too much. That's just how she sleeps. And it's, uh, also how... I help carry her around, too. It's for the safety of... Well, it's just... For safety. <sighs> anyway, I'm... I'm sorry if this concerns you, but... It's honestly how we have to live right now. And the truth is... The way that she can become... Alright again. Human again. At least, through what I believe is... Well, we have to stop the demon that caused it. Uh, but again, don't worry. That's not something that you need to worry about. <laughs> Just... Well, I think you should get some rest. You look like you've been walking for quite a long time. Huh? You're worried about my own sleep. <laughs> No, no, don't, don't worry about me, okay? Here, I think that, mm, right there should be a good spot. <laughs> I'll be watching over everyone, so, so, I hope that this will give you a moment to enjoy some restful sleep. <laughs> It'll make me quite happy if you do. In the end, you give in to Tanjiro's demands and you nod your head, deciding to rest yourself. So, you take a moment to find a spot, a nice spot to rest your head. And slowly, 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 while listening to the calming sounds of the river, you close your eyes and you fall asleep. Somehow, while you breathe deeply, you feel as though with Tanjiro washing over you, protecting you, even just a few moments of sleep will be peaceful, restful, and soothing.
That is to say, until you wake up to the sound of splashing water. <laughs> when your eyes open, you realize that Tanjiro is no longer there. You look about. How long were you out? And then, you hear it. Another sound of splashing water. As you approach the riverbank, you spot the clothing that Tanjiro wore. It clicks into your head when you realize he's in the river. He's trying to bathe for a few moments. He stops what he's doing, slowly turning his head and spotting you, only to react by quickly covering himself as best as he can. Ah! Uh, you woke up. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I should have said something before. You went to sleep. Uh, I'm... I'm really... Sorry, I just... Uh, um... You turn away for a moment, hiding the red on your face. It was only an idea that passed quickly in your head when you saw Tanjiro holding a sword. But from his toned and battle-scarred body, you can really tell that he's been on quite a journey. He attempts to stand up, but you shake your hand defensively, imploring him to continue. But as you try to step away, he steps closer. You seem to lead him back into the water. Or you slip and fall in. Oh no! Uh you come out of the water, panicking as you feel a fish flop on your head. Tanjiro covers your mouth as he swats the fish away. If... If you scream too loud, Nezuko will wake up. Uh, y your clothes are all wet. Come on, you should get out of the water. Hurry before you. Um, uh, where are your eyes? Looking at... at uh, my, um... Uh, uh, you look to see that Tanjiro has gotten quite erect, and you quickly try to step back, almost falling into the water again. But Tanjiro catches you, blushing. I... I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. L look, I... I... I can't help it. You're a... I'm a, Look... Let's just get, get you out of the water. Um, here. Uh, 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 there. Uh, let's dry up. Um, your clothes are sticking to your body. Let me help you remove them. Uh, there. Uh, um... Oh, uh, here, you can use my hakama to keep yourself covered and warm. Um, he, sorry. Uh, why don't we sit here by the riverbank? The moon's out, and I think that, well, before it goes away, we can, uh, enjoy it. Just, just a second. Mm. <sighs> All right, I'm back. Now, is it? Are you all right now? Oh, I really am sorry for all of that. I allowed you to be a guest, and you ended up seeing such, uh, how do I put it, a monstrous, no, maybe a, an embarrassing, or maybe an unsightly sight, hopefully you can forgive me for all of that. Oh, you're nodding your head, is that a yes? <laughs> I'm glad. Ah, here. 
I kind of noticed that. You scraped your back against some rocks. Um, here. Allow me to help soothe that aching spot on your shoulder. Yeah. <sighs> You're, um, you're really kind. You know that? Also, if I may be honest, you're, you're beautiful too. You're also quite brave. Going out into the night like this, you, you must be pretty strong. Although, you don't seem to be holding a weapon. Uh, re regardless, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't talk so much. I'm practically rambling. Um, it's okay. Um, are you sure? All right then. Um, in that case, I I know that we've just met and everything, but seeing you under the moonlight. And earlier, too, I... It's nice. Um... And... Uh, all of this... Time being around you... And seeing you, it's... Uh, um... Do you mind if I lean a little bit towards you? Mm. I'm really drawn to you, and I really, really want to, but I'm not sure if I should. My mind is telling me so, so many things at once. It's, it's a bit odd, isn't it? I've traveled these lands for some time now, and I've seen sights both both mesmerizing and... and gruesome. But I think my heart grew from it. The journey for my sister and for my comrades. But... looking at you... it's a different... sort of... urge in my heart. I have this feeling and... this immense feeling in my chest that's... Begging me to, to be selfish for just a little while. Hey, could it be? Have I succumbed to some devilish curse? R right now, if it's okay with you, I'd, I'd like you to. Listen to the request of my heart. Please? Uh, may I again? Mm-hmm. 
I'm doing everything that my body's telling me to do. So, what did you think of tonight's lovely dream? Feeling comforted with a smile in your heart. <laughs> That's wonderful. I can tell from your face. After all, once you listen to my voice and remember my name, I'll forever be a part of you. <laughs> hey, do me a favor. I want you to subscribe to my Patreon to hear everything. Or if you want to offer your support, buy this on Gumroad. I want you to watch me perform live on my YouTube, Twitch, and Billy Billy streams, but. Most of all, I want you to be safe and happy until we next meet. Farewell, love, Seikyo. Bye-bye.